Hi everyone, today tutorial we will focus on how to copy monitor levels and grids from architecture file and how to start uh, a new uh, Revit uh, MEP file. When I say Revit MEP, that means how we start uh, electrical project, mechanical project or uh, uh, or uh, plumbing project. I here in I am here in Revit 2020.1. I go to uh, here and click on the uh, classic interface i go here for file and create a new project i create a new project and i come here and start a mechanical template and if you guys you don't have mechanical template you can just browse here and choose mechanical template or electrical template i choose mechanical template I create a new project and I save it here and I give it a name here mechanical project and I click on save now I have my project already created I can uh, share the project and that's mean I will uh, create uh, I will create uh, uh, central file. I click on collaborate and I I create a central file within my network and I click OK. Then I save and Revit give me this message that means this, this is the first time that I save a central file and it cannot go back to standalone. I say oh, yes. Now I have my project created. I go here in share work sets and I create a new work set. I name it here like 00 underscore link and I click OK. Now I want this uh, Revit ask me if you want this work set to be active or set. I said OK because I want to insert in there in this work set the architecture uh, model. I go here, insert, link rivet, then I go to architecture file, and here you have a mini option like how to position your uh, your linked file. We we can do it with origin to origin, but there is uh, other option. We go in another video. We will we will see how to. Uh, how to explore the other option for position your link i click open now i have here the architecture file i can select first i select the link and i can pin it here click on pin now i have the link that is that uh, he is located in work set link now if I want to copy monitor the uh, grids, I can go here to collaborate. Then I go to coordinate here, copy monitor. And I go to select the link and I select the link here. Now I can go to copy multiple and select all my elements, then I can I put a filter here i don't want walls i don't want floors only grids and here i have only the grids selected now i can go to the option bar and i finish it and i can there is a, this is a, has been renamed it's okay this is only for the uh, grid ahead i go here to ribbon there is a modify grids and modify grids and here i have a copy monitor i must go out for from this mode by finish and if i go to the vv or visibility graphic and i go here to the rivet links you know here i have a new tab links rivet links and i click on here and on hide the links now you see i have here the copy monitored grids it's the same things i we will do for 
the uh, for the levels if i go here in est elevation and you see here i have the levels from the link now if you see here i have my levels that come with my template for this one i can delete it it's okay i can delete it i just keep this one because rivet don't allow me if i i want to delete this level because you need to have one level in the project now i go to copy monitor and i go to select link i select the link here now i go to copy multiple then i select my here my levels and i can go filter just to make sure that i have only levels selected it's okay now i can finish and i can don't uh, don't bother yourself with this message i can go to the copy monitor and now i can go finish now if i go to visibility graphic and i go to rivet and I hide the links now you see i have here my new levels now you see that i have these levels but they are uh, they have this bubble in, in uh, they have this bubble that it's not like uh, it's not a blue uh, i have it black here and if you see uh, if i double click here i can go i can't go to another level uh, i can go to the view that associated to this level the reason why because when i create this level a rivet don't don't create uh, associated level to that associated view to that if i want to create associated view i go to view here and i go to plan view and i can create a floor plan here you see here rivet give me like the uh, the the uh, available uh, floor plan i can create floor plan two and floor plan three and also for the roof and i click ok now if i back here now you see that's became blue that's mean if i click here it can go to the associated view this is the difference when you have the level bubble in uh, in black or in blue in blue that's mean there is a view associated to this level and in black that's mean the level you don't have view associated to the level that's it's just a, a simple uh, explanation now you see if i go to mechanic one now i go to vv and here i i make on the uh the link now we can go here and bring all the uh, data that it's in the architecture uh, file that means we can uh, we can here uh, bring the name and bring also the uh, uh, the bring the number of the room but before we do that we need to create the spaces if I want to create the spaces for the MAP, I go in analyze and then I go to space. And before I place the space, you see here there is something that's that we forgot to 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 do. Uh, we forgot to uh, here to make the link that that the link can bound the room. What that mean that if I go escape, I just I click on escape a couple of times, I select here uh, the links and i go to edit type you see here i have room bounding unselected that means this is why he don't recognize the space i click here and i click ok now if i go back to space and if i hover over here you know here he know the 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 the, the bounding for the links i can go for this place space automatically and i keep here the tag on placement that means he will place the space automatically for whole level and with the tag i click here and here 34 spaces created automatically et voila but we have the spaces here with without 
the the data that is in architecture file if you want we if we want to do that there is a very uh, good tool that is uh, before was an add-on now it's uh, now it's it's coming with the rivet it's space naming if i click the space naming here i have this dialog box that mean we can bring the name and also the number of the room to the space instead of just starting to create one by one i go okay et voilà you see i have here the information that is the uh, that it was in the architecture model copy in the architecture uh, in the MAP model. Thank you for watching, and I hope you that uh, I hope that video helped you.